Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my favorite podcast with you guys. I listen to podcasts quite frequently, as you may know. I like to go on evening walks and when I go on my walks, I typically listen to podcasts. So I listen to podcasts on a pretty much daily basis and you guys ask me a lot what podcasts I listen to both here on YouTube and on Instagram. So I thought it would be beneficial to just share all of them in this video with you guys. Now I will say I do sort of go through phases where I will listen to one podcast a little bit more than another one or I'm really feeling a certain genre of podcast but I'm just going to go through my phone right here and pick out all of the podcasts and share them with you guys. Some of them I've already completed but I totally think you should listen to them. So in general I listen to three main genres of podcasts. I'd say listen to health and wellness podcasts or things in that sort of realm. Then I listen to more story-based podcasts. And then finally, I do listen to a few business podcasts related to food blogging and entrepreneur type activities. So I'm just going to go through my phone and list all the podcasts that I actively listen to or have actively listened to and I will give you all an honest review of them because I do listen to a lot of podcasts. Sometimes I'll listen to a podcast but it's not my favorite podcast so I'll let you guys know. Health and wellness podcasts are definitely my favorite podcast so I'm going to go through those first and when I'm saying health and wellness I kind of mean like overall well-being as well as veganism as well as interesting sort of alternative medicine type of topics. My all-time favorite health and wellness podcast is definitely the One Part Podcast by Jessica Renan. I actually had the opportunity to meet her a few months ago and she was even cooler in real life than she is on her podcast, which was hard to believe. But Jessica is a super laid back person and her podcast talks about different topics in the health and wellness community for the most part. So she'll interview different experts and get their opinions on things. And I really like how she covers a wide variety of topics. Like sometimes she'll interview a cookbook author and talk about cooking in general or another time she'll interview a kundalini yoga instructor and we can learn about kundalini yoga. She's also done things on medical marijuana, how to deal with aging parents, um, how to deal with emotional things if you're an empath. So she covers a wide variety of topics but I always find her guests really interesting and even if I don't directly relate to a topic I still feel like I learn something and also just in general I think she's a really hilarious person like I'll be on my walk just minding my own business and then all of a sudden I'll burst out laughing and people may give me weird looks but I don't really care because I'm enjoying myself. Another podcast that I really enjoy in this sort of realm is the Earth to Us podcast. It's by my friends Hannah and Evan, and they cover a lot of topics not specifically related to veganism. They do have a few vegan specific ones, but then they'll also interview working women or other activists or people. I also really enjoy their personalities, and I'd say their topics are a little bit less potentially offensive than Jessica's. I guess Jessica can deal with some very controversial things in her podcast where in general I'd say Earth to Us is more like PG, PG-13, if that makes sense. Another podcast that I love in the sort of, I don't know if it's health and wellness niche, it's more like scientific based, but it's called Invisibilia. It's an NPR podcast and they focus on a different emotion or feeling in every episode and they'll do a series of stories in each episode and it's kind of like reporting but you go to the scene because it's an NPR podcast like you know it's going to be good. I really enjoy listening to it and I actually listened to a lot of episodes with my dad when we were road tripping back down from Maryland to Miami and he even liked it too so... I would check it out. Another podcast that I've recently really been liking, it's called From the Heart Conversations with Yoga Girl. And Rachel is a very famous Instagram yogi and she started this podcast and in some episodes she's just chatting with the audience about how she feels about certain things like body positivity or just dealing with negativity or being taken advantage of. But then she also interviews other people in the music or yoga world. I think for the most part, I would say it's very uplifting. So if you're feeling kind of down in the dumps, you usually feel pretty inspired by the end of it. Another podcast that I listen to in the more health community is the Nutrition Matters podcast. And it is by a registered dietitian named Paige Smathers. And it talks a lot about interesting topics 
um, sort of in the food realm and Paige is really well versed and I think she's a really educated person so she talks a lot about body positivity or recovering from an eating disorder things along those lines if you have suffered from an eating disorder in the past some of the episodes might be triggering but I found her episodes to be really informative especially with like the health in every size and body positivity movements because I generally did not know much about them before listening to her podcast so I found those episodes to be really enlightening and she gives great advice if you ever get like stressed out about food or struggle with your food choices. I also have recently been listening to A Beautiful Mess which is a podcast by my friend Steph Yu. She has a YouTube channel on here and she's also Happy and Healthy 96 on Instagram and Steph just interviews people in her life who she finds inspiring or will share stories about her life and I think for such a young person, not even based on her age, just in general, she is a very wise person and she is has a very beautiful way with words. So I really enjoy listening to her podcast and I feel really serene when I listen to them. I think she has a great talking voice as well. Another health and wellness podcast that is probably one of the most popular health and wellness podcasts is the Rich Roll podcast. If you guys don't know who Rich Roll is, he is a ultra marathoner and he's vegan. He's written a few books and he has this podcast. And when I first started listening to podcasts, I definitely listened to his podcast a lot more, but I found that now I really don't listen to it very often unless I already personally know the guest who he is interviewing. Um, his conversations are definitely more long format, so they are pretty lengthy. And I will say I do like this podcast, but the ads are really, really long in the beginning. And Rich, if you by any chance somehow see this, I really like you and I like your work, but all the other podcasts that I listen to, their ads are like three minutes long and yours are like seven minutes long and I feel like it's just a little bit excessive but you know you still do a good job I just I just wish the ads were shorter another podcast that I listen to kind of in the health and wellness field it's called the liturgist and I honestly don't listen to this one too too often but every episode that I listen to I really like it's more of a higher produced thing as well like they'll put in music and it feels very nice and like I said I haven't listened to too many episodes but if you like personality tests at all, I would totally suggest that you listen to this one episode called, I think it's called the Enneagram. The, it's a new, it's a different type of personality test, like it's kind of like the Myers-Briggs, but it's supposed to be better than the Myers-Briggs, and I love that episode so much. I actually think I listened to it because my friend Hannah McNeely here on YouTube did a video on her favorite podcast and mentioned that episode in her review, so I have to pass on the love to you guys. Another podcast that I listen to that may not be for everyone, it's called the Secular Buddhism Podcast. I've only listened to a few episodes, and I kind of have to be in the right mood for this, but this guy has a really soothing voice, and he basically just explains the concepts of Buddhism in layman's terms. So. He even says in the beginning of the episode he's not encouraging everyone to convert to Buddhism or saying how it would conflict with your other religion, but he just kind of explains the philosophy and principles with it, and I find that a lot of it really resonates with me, so I do enjoy listening to it when I'm feeling a little bit more zen. My friends Jeanette and Alex also have a podcast called Planted in Miami, and they interview different entrepreneurs and people within the Miami scene. So if you're a South Florida local or you're just interested in learning about what people are doing in the Miami area, there are some pretty cool people. Uh, you can check out their podcast. I think they also interview people from outside of Miami as well, but they are planted in Miami, so it's kind of the point. Um, but yeah, I, re I do really enjoy their stuff and I know they put a lot of hard work into their podcast, so I had to give them a shout out. Alright, next up we're going to tackle the stories portion. My favorite, favorite podcast in this realm is called S-Town. It was produced by NPR and it's just amazing. It's, a, it's really hard to describe what it's about, honestly, but it's one of the best produced podcasts I've ever heard in my life. It made me cry. It is sort of an investigative report, like the guy is acting as a reporter and he goes to explore this small town called S-Town. I won't tell you what it means, you can watch the podcast or listen to the podcast, um, but it's about a man named John B. Blacklemore and sort of his struggles in life, but I think everyone can get something great out of it. My second favorite podcast in this category would be Strangers, and I really like this 
podcast because every episode is about a different person who would quote unquote be a stranger to you. But by the end of the episode, even if your lives are completely different, you can find some way to relate to them and you feel like you know them and they're not a stranger anymore. And that's kind of the whole point. Leah Tao, who narrates and produces the podcast, does a really great job with picking guests in sort of more controversial fields. So if you're not as exposed to, I don't know, for example, transgender people, um, she will do a story about that. And I think it's like a really informative and insightful view into their lives. But she also covers other topics. Like for example, one really memorable episode was about this man who was incorrectly in prison for I think like 20 to 30 years in his life. His name was Frankie Carrillo. And I really, really loved that episode. And then the final story slash kind of business related podcast, so I put it at the end, is called The Cookbook Deal. And it is also by Jessica Renan, who is the founder, producer, etc. of the one part podcast. But The Cookbook Deal is basically a documentary of her process through making a cookbook. So if you're ever interested in making a cookbook, I would highly suggest listening to it because it gives you some great insight. But she also includes different life challenges and things that she was going through as well while she was making her cookbook. So it's not just about cookbooks, but I really enjoyed it. How many times did I just say cookbook in that last like 45 seconds? I don't know. Okay, and then finally, I have a few different business podcasts. If you're interested in food blogging or just blogging in general, I would really recommend the Food Blogger Pro podcast. It's by Bjork or Shrum, and his wife, Lindsay, runs Pinch of Yum, and he basically gives you so many helpful tips for starting a food blog. Like, I honestly don't think I would be where I am today without the help of this free content. From making a media kit, to pricing your content, to setting up a website, to figuring out SEO, he pretty much has a topic that covers it all, and he also interviews some of the top food bloggers from around the world, and recently he's been doing episodes that would not only apply to food blogs and even the more food blog related episodes, you could still apply it to general blogging. So if you're interested in running your own blog based website, I would 100% recommend you check this out. Another podcast that I listen to that is more entrepreneurial based, it's called the Gold Digger podcast, not Gold Digger, but G-O-A-L Digger. And it's by Jenna Kutcher and she is a wedding photographer. So some of the things she says I feel like are not entirely applicable to what I do, but I do think she makes some good points in, especially around the themes of like being authentic to yourself and being loyal to your brand. I will say she is a very happy-go-lucky person and I think that is totally genuine and I think she's probably a super sweet person in real life but if you're more of like a chill kind of laid back not as easily excitable person as me if I'm feeling like kind of meh it's just it's too much but if I'm feeling in a good mood it's totally fine to listen to I just wanted to throw that in there and then the final podcast in the business related podcast is definitely the Tim Ferriss show he has an amazingly popular podcast so if you listen to podcasts I feel like you've probably already come across his work, but Tim Ferriss is basically a genius. He's written tons of books. He's all about like efficiency and I think he gives really great business tips, which is why I included him in the business section of the podcast that I listen to. He interviews tons of different people and similar to the Ritual podcast, I don't really listen to the episodes unless it's a person I know or the topic particularly speaks to me, but he does cover a wide variety of topics. Um, I just typically don't listen to all of them and he does cover some things in the health and wellness community but those are much more like paleo supplement based kind of things and that's just not really what I agree with as a person so I just usually don't listen to those and listen to his other content but his other content is great and I'm not kidding that man is an actual genius he knows so many different languages he's funded so many different, I don't even know. Every time I hear him talk, I'm like, man, I could have been like that. What have I done wrong? No, I'm just kidding. He's a cool person though. All right, guys, and that is it. Those are all of the podcasts that I currently have on my phone and that I actively listen to when they post new episodes. Like I said, I definitely listen to some a lot more than others. And because I didn't start listening to podcasts right when they have started up, I've gone back and listened to old episodes. If you were going to start listening to podcasts, I would definitely recommend you listen to S-Town, Invisibilia, Food Blogger Pro if you're related to that kind of thing. 
uh, one part podcast I also really like earth to us and strangers those are the ones that I like genuinely get excited when they post a new episode but obviously different people resonate with different things you might listen to a completely different genre of podcast but I just wanted to put this out there so you guys now have the complete list. I listen to a lot of podcasts because I listen to them almost every day. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and you should totally let me know your favorite podcast in the comments below so I can check it out because I'm always looking for new podcasts to add to my repertoire. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah, thanks again for watching. I know I already said thank you once, but I guess I'm just really grateful today and I will see you later. Bye! Mm -hmm.